Tom Chinkui. President, please be seated. You may now resume your questioning, Council for Mr. Nguyen Chia. Lawyer. Thank you. Pei Ong, Mr. President. President, you may now proceed, National Legal Lawyer for Civil Parties. Pei Ong, Mr. President, I have a request. Quest, uh, in relation to the upcoming civil party to TCCP 264. The upcoming witness to TCCP 264 is available in the court premise. However, there is an hell issue with her, and that uh, hell issue remains today. She is now under the examination of the ECCC physician. And to my knowledge, she is uh, not able to testify today before the chamber again. She is now under the constant examination of the ECCC uh, duty doctor. Please consider, consider our request, uh, Mr. President. President, yes, the Chamber will take that into consideration. Lawyer, thank you, Mr. President. I would like to resume my questioning. Good morning again, Mr. Civil Party. I am now discussing with you the case of a transgender person who hung himself and uh, swallowed the poison, and as a result, that person died because that person was forced to get married. Can you inform the chamber how did you know that uh, the person swallow a poison made from uh, tree and as a result that a person died. Can you tell the chamber how did you learn that information or what uh, was the source of your information? Answer. I told the chamber already, the co-workers uh, working close to us, to me, told me there was a transgender drinking the poisonous water, and as a result, that person died. And then I asked why. I was told it was because uh, sh that person was forced to get married. I, at the time, did not uh, discuss in detail about uh, the cause of her death or any other uh, information. Lawyer, thank you. Concerning the one or ones who told you, what uh, was his or her name or their names? La personne qui vous a rapporté tout cela, quel était son nom? I told repeatedly the chamber that I do not recall the name or names. Réponse, j'ai déjà dit à maintes reprises à la chambre que je ne me souvenais pas des noms. Lawyer, thank you. I am now proceeding to another topic in relation to one of your friends. In the circle of singers who used to work with you before 1975, how many persons named Sarai? President, uh, Mr. Civil Party, please uh, see the mic. Wait for the microphone before you speak. There were two Sarais. One 
died in a room, uh, that person was shot by the Khmer Rouge inside the room. Sinat and I uh, could uh, make an escape uh, on the 17th April, said the witness. Rota and other people died in that room. Lawyer, thank you. Allow me to make a clarification with you about the advancement or the attack of the Vietnamese. You said, you said that uh, you were deposited at Krang uh, Tachan. When was that? Answer. I stayed at that uh, place uh, for Réponse. one night, and at the time I did not know uh, that the location was Krang Ta Chan. I asked uh, the militia man, and I was told that uh, the location was Krang Ta Chan. And the next morning, uh, we left. In my feeling, upon my arrival or my departure, in fact, I uh, spent uh, time walking uh, for a short uh, period of time. Passé mon temps à marcher pendant une brève période de temps. Lawyer, I would like to know about the year. Which year did uh, the Vietnam, Question. the Vietnamese attack into uh, the country? En quelle année les Vietnamiens ont attaqué le pays? Answer, it was in 19... Late 1978 or late early 1979, when there was an advancement or attack by the Vietnamese, and I was placed at Krang Ta Chan. I was placed there temporarily. I was not detained there permanently before I was uh, transferred to another location. Correction from Intavta before I was transferred to Kandah province. Question. You stated that it happened in 1978. Which month was that? Question. Vous avez dit 1978. Quel mois était-ce? Answer. I cannot recall the month, exact month of that 1978. All I can recall is that it happened in 1978, late 1978. Question. I would like to backtrack a little bit. During the marriage, Question. Je reviens en arrière dans le temps. wedding, did it happen? Pendant did the wedding happen after you were released from uh, some long prison, or that marriage happened during the detention at some long prison? President, uh, Mr. Civil Party, President, please uh, wait for the operation of the microphone before you testify. Answer. I got married in Kanda Réponse. province in August 1977. Question. Question. Were you detained at uh, some long prison before your marriage or after it? President, again, you are reminded, Mr. Président, Civil Party, Civil to wait for the microphone before you answer. Question. Question. Did you get married in 1977? After I was uh, transferred from an a province, Après, I misspoke la the year. Je me suis trompé d'année. In fact, I arrived at Kanda province in late en fait, 1977, and I was a once uh, relocated in 1976 from Takao to Kanda Et province. Redéployé. At, it was after I left Krang Ta Chan to Kanda province that I got married. Then the marriage happened in August 
Le mariage a eu lieu August. en août. My apology. Mes excuses. Lawyer, you made mention that you were Avocat placed temporarily at a location close to Krang Dajan prison in late 1976. And you also stated that uh, you were placed at that location during the advancement or the attack by the Vietnamese. Did you hear the uh, gunfire and where did the attack happen? Alors avez-vous entendu les coups de feu et où a eu lieu l'attaque? Answer: I did not personally hear the gunfire. Réponse: Moi-même, je n'ai pas entendu les coups de feu. However, the one who sent to me to that location Pendant, la qui said that uh, the Vietnamese attacked into the country, so I was needed to be sent to Kanda province. So I spent uh, a night at that location, and at first I did not know the name of that location. Only début, after I asked uh, the militia man uh, was I told that the Et location was Krang Tachan, and then I realized that I was temporarily stay uh, detained at that location for one night. Lawyer, I would like to discuss another topic. You answered yesterday and also this morning, earlier this morning, you stated that you lost uh, 15 uh, relatives or siblings uh, and one uh, biological mother. I would like Et to know whether the 15 uh, uh, relatives were your distinctive si relative or your direct siblings. Direct Answer. They were my siblings. Réponse. I did not include the distinct or close relatives. Je pas inclus les parents my, and that included my uh, biological parents. Et ce chiffre comprend également Question. How les many siblings biologiques. did you have all together? Question. Combien de frères et sœurs aviez-vous au total? Answer. Fifteen, including me. And if I included my parents, uh, the total number reached uh, 17. And only one was uh, female, and the rest were male. Lawyer, thank you. Do you recall all the names, all the 40 names of your siblings who died? President, Mr. Civil, Madame Civil Party, please wait for the microphone before you speak. Civil Party, I could recall some of their names. Je m'en souviens de Frankly certains. speaking, my memory is n is not good. Parler, ma mémoire n'est plus qu'elle était. My eldest brother is Yad, and then Yung Yen, Yag, Dang, sister Yon, sister Yun, sir Yun. And uh, my younger siblings were Ya Yong. And I cannot recall my other younger Et je ne me souviens pas uh, de mes sibling, autres and my name is Wei. I cannot recall Wei. all the names, je ne me uh, pas Mr. De Lawyer, noms. since I, have, uh, I had so many siblings. Nous étions très nombreux. Lawyer. Thank you, Mr. Civil Party. Mr. President, I would like to seek the floor for Avocat. my international colleague. Merci. President, uh, you je may now proceed. Uh, international Lawyer for Mr. Nguyen Good morning, Civil Party. I just have a few follow-up questions. I won't be Bonjour, long, maybe 15 Madame minutes. At this point of the questioning, we are obviously going to be revisiting minutes. things that we've already discussed, stade, but I'm asking you évoquées, slightly different questions about everything, so please bear with me as we go through. So my first question is in relation to your wife during the DK, Yang Rota. Um, and my question relates to something that you said yesterday afternoon. Hier. 
at 1508 to the civil party lawyers. Uh, and this is what you said. You said that you knew your wife because you were in the mobile unit. She was an orphan and did not have parents or siblings. The condition was the same for you. Although you knew each other, you never spoke to one another until that day. You decided to talk to her, although you did not know until, although you did not know that it was the day of the marriage. After you were lined up. You were told Après avoir été it was the marriage rang, day. So here's my first mariage. question. Voilà How question did you know vous, about your wife's personal history, that she was an orphan? L'histoire ou le passé de votre femme et qu'elle était orpheline. We had known each other before that, since we were in the same mobile unit. Uh, we were allowed to visit uh, the village uh, once in every ten days, and uh, that was the, ch the time when I saw her, and I asked her, how many siblings did she have? She told me that she was an orphan. Did I understand correctly that you met and spoke to your wife before the marriage day? We had known each other long before the marriage. And it was only after that uh, I had known her that made me uh, brave enough to go and speak to her immediately before the marriage about the wearing of scarf on her head. Okay. This morning, under your testimony to my colleague, discussing whether you consented to the marriage, and I think this is talking about the first marriage proposal. You told the court that your mother was very old and who would look after her. You were told that Ankar would take care of her and require you to get married. You kept asking for a delay. It happened during the initial period. Finally, you got married by force in August 1977, but between February and August 1977, you were threatened many times. And also yesterday afternoon, under questioning from the civil party lawyers, you said that in 1977, you heard about couples being taken away and killed under the pretext of sending them to study sessions. You realized then that you had to find a woman and pretend to be husband and wife. Here's my question. When did you realize that you had to find a woman to marry? Could you repeat the question? Yesterday, I did not say that I wanted a wife, uh, and I did say that I refused the marriage because my mother was sick. Could you repeat the question clearly? Sure. Yes. The question related to the second quote I read to you from yesterday, and the quote is that what you said was you realized that you had to find a woman and pretend to be husband and wife, and you said that that happened in 1977 when you heard about couples being taken away and killed under the pretext of sending them to study sessions. You talked about 1977. My question more specifically is if you can pinpoint a specific date. When in 1977 did you realize that you had to find a woman and pretend to be husband and wife? President, you may now proceed. Lead call lawyer for civil parties. Allez-y. Co-avocate pour les parties civiles. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Si notre consoeur pouvait nous donner l'heure à laquelle Mr. President, la partie civile a fait cette déclaration pour que nous puissions suivre sur les, les transcripts que nous avons reçus. So that we can follow Est-ce que vous avez noté l'heure? Merci. 
Thank you, Council. We don't have the transcript at present because it was delayed in arriving this morning, but my team will get that for me and I can come back to this question. So I'll move on for the time being. Civil Party, I'm moving on to the next set of questions then and we'll come back to that point. Uh, yesterday at 15.08 approximately, under questioning from your Civil Party lawyers, you said that after you were lined up, you were told it was marriage day. And then, also under questioning from the civil party lawyers at approximately 1514, you said none of the 107 couples refused. Some shed tears quietly, especially the women. No one dared voice any verbal refusal. My question here is, do I understand correctly that while in line, no one Alors, could talk. Bien compris, lorsque vous étiez en rangée, personne ne pouvait parler. Concerning the lining up, as I have just told the lawyer, the base people were required to stand in two lines, and the same applies to the 17 April group. We were silent when we were lined up and while we were standing. Thank you. Yesterday at 15.10 approximately, under questioning from the civil party lawyers, you were describing you know, the game that happened in the line, and this is what we've recorded you were saying. The men were in a line, the women were in another line. Then you played a game of hide and seek. You suspected that that was going to happen, and that is why you told the woman I presume this is your future wife, to wear a scarf around her head and why you wore a scarf around your neck. It was not completely dark. You could feel her and that is how you got hold of her hand. Civil party, my question, if you were not able to speak while in line, how were you able to speak to your wife about wearing scarves? Some would like to tell you that I uh, played sick and found hide and seek at the time, but I uh, was trying to use it. And I discussed uh, with my would-be uh, wife about the wrapping of a uh, scarf around my neck and wearing the scarf on her head immediately before that. It was not immediately before the ceremony on the day. I did take chance to go and discuss with my would-be partner before that. It was not, the discussion did not happen uh, during the ceremony that day, and I uh, did not say that I used uh, uh, hit and hide and seek uh, at the time, but it, the marriage uh, itself was like a, a hide and seek game. Okay, so let, let me see if we understand each other. You're saying that you spoke to your wife just before you lined up. Yesterday, at approximately 15.08, you said Hier, after you were lined up, you were told it was marriage day. So you coordinated with her before Donc hearing that you were going to be married. Avant que vous alliez vous Answer. I did discuss with her but that happened before the meeting or the marriage day. No one told me that uh, 
I and my and other people were required to marry on a specific Fic day, but I take uh, the opportunity to discuss with her in advance. Uh, the, we had uh, known about the plan of the marriage by Anka since uh, February, but uh, bef and before the marriage day, I did have a discussion with her. We had uh, learned that something would happen because my instinct told me. No one came to tell me exactly of what was going to happen. My instinct or feeling told me. And at the time, I took courage to discuss with my would-be partner about wearing scarf around my neck and wearing scarf on her head. So my instinct told me that would the wedding would happen very soon. And uh, during the marriage day, I did not dare to discuss with her because I was afraid of dying. Okay. Let's go back now to the marriage ceremony and the two lines and the couples getting married. I've heard some discussion about you saying that there were 107 couples overall, 80 of which were 80 couples of which were 17 April people. First question: How did you know that there were 107 couples exactly? In fact, uh, there were 117 couples. I did say uh, 117, not 107. 80 couples, of which uh, were the 17 April people. Yesterday, I did uh, speak of that. I recall it uh, very well. There were 117 couples, not 107 couples. So the question is, how did you know that? How could I not know about that? Because the announcement was made stating that a specific certain couples were to get married among which uh, certain couples were uh, from 17 April group. And I was called uh, uh, after the six, so I uh, considered myself the seven couples to get married. Moving to my next line of questions now. Yesterday at 15.22, you were talking about what happened immediately after the marriage ceremony. And this is what we've recorded you as saying. You said that you went to your elder in-law's house, the house which had belonged to your deceased mother. The house was not high off from the ground. When you went there at 10 to 11 at night, and you were chit-chatting with your in-law and your wife, you saw shadows under the house, and in the morning, you saw marks of people under the house. While unmarried, they would crawl under the house to see if you were agents of CIA or KGB. This time, however, they wanted to see if you were consummating the marriage or not. My question is the following. How do you know that they were monitoring if you were consummating the marriage and not monitoring something else, for example, general security or whether you were an agent of CIA or KGB? After the marriage at 10 or 11 p.m., I sat and discussed with my in-law, my relative in-law, at houses at a rural area. The floor was made out of bamboo. 
Le sol est en bambou. So, uh, we could uh, perhaps at least see uh, the uh, shadow. Nous avions and pu, I did uh, she, uh, see them uh, crawling like snakes. Je ne les ai pas vus ramper comme des serpents. Mais j'ai vu des ombres. So you saw them. Question. Donc vous les avez vus If I could just suggest, I think council does not have the transcript, but it was sent this morning. La défense n'a pas la mais la transcription a été envoyée ce matin. Donc, une correction par rapport à ce qu'elle a lu. La transcription, je vais lire. Il a vu des traces. However, in the morning, we saw a mass of people crawling under the house, and then we knew immediately that they came to spy on us. That's what the draft transcript in English says. Anyway. Le projet de transcription. And that's at uh, 15:23. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. 15 heures, so minutes. you're saying that there were people Merci. under the house. Donc, vous dites qu'il y avait des gens How sur la maison. How do you know what they were looking for? Comment saviez-vous ce qu'ils recherchaient? Rồi đó, vì bình ai kia mà tạm đàn, nó bồi dưỡng họ đã sợ nợ. Réponse. Monitor us once in every two or three days since. And uh, we uh, deux, jours, did not uh, stay at home uh, very uh, regularly. And after the event occurring, I saw après the max coup, or footprints under the house. Vu des so I am des telling the court based on what I saw ce and what I recall. Sur ce que vu et sur and I realized and thought that uh, they may have come to uh, spied us. That is why I uh, discussed that uh, with my wife and talked to her that uh, we were under surveillance. Civil party, um, the part of your quote that I wanted to focus on was the very last part. Uh, prosecutor, you might correct me if I'm quoting this incorrectly. What we've recorded was that what you said was, while unmarried, they would crawl under the house in order to see if you were agents of CIA or KGB. This time, they wanted to see if you were consummating the marriage or not. What I'm asking you is, You've made comments there about what the militia Ici, were intending to do when they were crawling under the house, what they were trying to look for. What I'm asking is, how do you know they were looking to see if you were having sex and not looking to see if you were si enemies, sexuels, et non pas vérifier si vous aviez des rapports avec les ennemis. Beginning, réponse. When we were unmarried, every few days, Au début, they would avant come mariage, to tous les quelques us. jours, ils venaient nous surveiller. And that meant former soldiers, Autrement teachers, dit, les anciens soldats, les enseignants, agents, les intellectuels, KGB, les agents de la CIA, du KGB, étaient constamment surveillés. Monitored us every few days, but Il y avait un contrôle tous les quelques jours. We got married, they would come Mais to après le mariage, us ils sont venus nous surveiller pour vérifier si nous marriage. avions consommé le mariage. I might try it a different way. Civil party, did you question. ever Je hear of an order to the militia to monitor whether you were consummating the marriage? Pendant à vérifier que le mariage était bel et bien consommé. Nobody had to order anybody, Personne n'a dû donner d'ordre à qui que ce soit. La tâche des miliciens était de nous surveiller. And that was your understanding. C'est ainsi que vous voyez les choses, n'est-ce pas? Réponse. Yes, that's my thinking. Oui, c'est ce que je me suis dit. 
their activities and actions are conformed to my thinking. Leurs agissements n'ont fait que confirmer ce que je pensais. Married, Avant le mariage, us, ils venaient vérifier si nous étions soldier, des bandits, d'anciens soldats, des agents. But the CIA, accent, uh, de la CIA du KGB, c'est ce que je me disais that. personnellement. Leurs agissements wife, semblaient le confirmer. Après le mariage, ils sont venus vérifier si je couchais avec ma femme. Last line of questioning. I just have a few questions left. And this is going Question. back to J'ai bientôt terminé. Talking about your wife. Je reviens à votre épouse. Uh, yesterday at Approximately 1527, we heard you say that throughout your life, that the time that you slept with your wife was the only time that the couple was separated. Ensuite, dites then a little le later, you say, then they sent you to live in Tuk in Tapek Mountain to break rocks. And nous you then First question nous is nous just a point of clarification. Did you mean that this was the only time that jours. you had sex with a woman? Une, une précision. Vous voulez dire que c'est la seule fois que vous avez eu des rapports sexuels avec une femme? Le président. President, uh, Veuillez attendre que le micro soit allumé. So, but, uh, it is difficult for me to respond to Il m'est difficile de répondre à cette question. J'ai dit que je n'aimais pas les I femmes. J'ai dit que je l'avais fait à cause du like du régime de Pol Pot. But I Encore aujourd'hui, je suis seul, mais je n'ai aucun sentiment pour les femmes. C'est ce que j'ai dit. J'ai dit que je n'avais pas envie de coucher avec des femmes. Et cette fois-là a été la seule fois que j'ai eu des rapports sexuels avec une femme. C'était aussi lié à l'effet de l'alcool. La défense, c'est très clair. Je passe à autre chose. Vous Approximately every 10 days. Vous vous rencontrez donc is, tous les 10 jours environ. Did this continue? Combien de temps est-ce que ça a duré Ça dépendait. Je ne pourrais pas... For a dire of those, combien de temps ça a duré. Tous les dix jours, j'allais voir ma femme, mais ça dépendait, Sometimes ce n'était pas toujours dix jours. Parfois, je passais rapidement I rencontrer ma femme à la maison workplace. et ensuite je retournais au travail. Parfois, je revenais dix, fois, dix jours plus tard, mais parfois je ne revenais pas parce que je cassais des pierres à Tapek. Ma femme travaillait à l'unité des And femmes. Question. Est-ce que vous avez continué à la voir pendant toute la période du camp Boucher démocratique ou bien est-ce que vous vous êtes perdu de vue. Allez, Allez. Réponse. I uh, lost contact when it was a time but, uh, that my wife was about to deliver the baby. Nous avons perdu contact alors qu'elle était I, uh, sur le point d'accoucher. Je ne suis pas rentré so chez moi car j'étais épuisé. Uh, breaking rock and that I à cause du travail consistant à casser des pierres, j'avais beaucoup de mal à atteindre le quota d'un mètre cube par jour. Question. Just my last question. I'm not sure if I heard this correctly. Je ne suis pas sûr de bien vous avoir entendu. Je pense que vous avez dit que ça dépendait, parfois dix jours, parfois plus, parfois moins. When you saw each other, la fréquence donc variait, dites-vous. Mais quand vous vous rencontriez, combien de temps était-ce Une nuit, deux nuits Si j'étais resté de nuit, on m'aurait emmené et tué. J'étais autorisé à passer la nuit, mais je ne l'ai pas fait. 
comme je l'ai dit hier. Every, uh, day when I Tous les 10 jours, j'allais lui rendre visite. J'arrivais vers 15 ou 16 heures. I was with her until about je restais avec and elle jusqu'à 18 heures environ. Et ensuite, je regagnais le site de travail. For, uh, je ne passais pas la nuit. Thank you for your patience, civil party. Mr. Mr. President, I have no further questions. Merci, j'en ai terminé. So, my colleagues are meeting with me. So, I'm chairing with you, Council, and I'd like now to hand the floor to the defense team for Q. Some call. La défense de Q. Some call. So, my colleagues, the team, some group, some group, some group. Thank you, Mr. Kong Samon. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honor, Bonjour, everyone, and good Madame, good morning, les juges. Civil party, Bonjour à tous. Madame Bonjour, Parti civil. J'ai des questions à vous poser. I'd like to ask you uh, about the places that you uh, lived des questions or stayed permanently, but uh, there is no need for you les endroits to describe the locations where you temporarily uh, stayed. Vécu de façon Can you tell the constante. Chamber sans parler des endroits où vous avez vécu de façon temporaire. À quel endroit avez-vous vécu sous le Kampuchea démocratique Pouvez-vous préciser la question Est-ce que vous me demandez de répéter ce que j'ai indiqué dans le formulaire d'enseignement sur la victime J'ai vécu à différents endroits. Question. Uh, for a longer period of time. Concernant les endroits And où vous avez passé no beaucoup de temps, uh, c'est là-dessus que je vais vous interroger. Example, like Pas besoin de parler des endroits où vous n'avez fait que passer. Par exemple, ce matin, vous dites avoir passé une nuit à Krangtachan. So Donc, à quels endroits avez-vous vécu et travaillé Answer. Réponse. First, I left Phnom Penh, and then I stayed at the Jampa Pagoda for several nights. J'ai séjourné plusieurs nuits à la pagode de Champa. And uh, on the thirtieth of that month, le trente du mois, that is the thirtieth of May, because I heard through the announcement. Je connais la date parce que elle a été annoncée. Je l'ai entendue. Second, I... Et ensuite, allow me to say about the uh, locations where I rather permanently stayed. The second place was in Tralaya Il y a un autre commune. endroit. La commune de Trolaïk, où j'ai passé du temps, c'est ma commune natale, j'y ai passé des nuits, et on m'a envoyé intégrer une unité itinérante, ensuite on m'a envoyé la commune de Snam Kropo, district de Kompisei. But I did not mention that in my Je ne l'ai pas indiqué dans mon document de renseignement sur la victime. J'ai uniquement cité la commune de Jake, district, district de Dong, district. district de Bati. And most of the time, I spent my life living in prisons. J'ai passé l'essentiel de mon temps en prison. Question. Amongst the uh, places Question. that uh, you uh, worked. Vous avez donc travaillé à différents endroits. Can you tell the court uh, which locations where you where you worked outside uh, the most? And so Quels sont les principaux endroits où vous avez dû travailler à l'extérieur? I knew people when I Réponse. worked at Real Public. Quand je travaillais à Ville Pau Pic, je connaissais des gens, il y avait là des collines, il y avait un millier de familles environ de gens du peuple nouveau, 
Nous nous sommes mis à la recherche de nourriture, c'est ainsi que je suis entré en contact avec des gens. Deuxièmement, commune de Plankropper, et je suis resté peu de temps. Ensuite, on m'a emprisonné, puis je suis allé vivre à la commune de Dong, village de Tchèque, district de Batin, et j'y ai rencontré des gens. Question. Question. À la commune de Popic ou de Plankrope ou Tchèque, avez-vous rencontré d'autres transgenres Réponse. Il y avait plusieurs transgenres, dont moi. Mais je ne peux pas vous dire combien il y en avait. Je ne peux parler que de ceux qui étaient près de moi, ceux qui m'ont côtoyé, ceux qui m'avaient côtoyé sous le régime de l'Anol. Ces gens m'étaient proches quant aux autres transgenres, je les ai connus sans plus, sans avoir de contact avec ces gens. Question, vous dites qu'il y avait plusieurs transgenres. Combien environ Réponse, je ne peux pas vous donner de chiffres exacts. Je ne les ai pas rencontrés en groupe de 5 ou 10. J'allais parfois à un endroit donné, j'en voyais une, et bien sûr, nous nous reconnaissions instantanément parce que nous appartenions au même sexe. Je ne pourrais pas vous dire combien il y en avait. J'en rencontrais une ou deux ici ou là. D'après mes estimations, j'ai rencontré un certain nombre de transgenres. Question. Question. I'd like to ask you about a man named Saul. Question. Une question sur un dénommé Xon, avec qui vous avez eu une liaison après votre mariage. C'était un chef d'unité. Savez-vous s'il avait en outre d'autres fonctions Ce n'était pas Saul, mais bien Saul, chef d'unité, à la prison de San Long. Je ne savais pas s'il avait d'autres fonctions. Je savais qu'il venait souvent à l'endroit où l'on cassait des pierres. C'était mon partenaire. Question. Comment avez-vous su quelle and fonction il occupait Dans quelles circonstances avez-vous eu l'occasion de le rencontrer Answer. Réponse. Je n'ai pas essayé de savoir ce qu'il faisait. Il est venu à l'endroit où l'on cassait des pierres. Il a donné des ordres subordonnés. J'ai supposé qu'il devait être chef d'une grande unité, même si je ne connaissais pas exactement ses fonctions. D'après ce que j'ai constaté, ses subordonnés le respectaient. Question. 
You also said about your, uh, ex that is Rata. Vous avez that évoqué Rota, votre ex-femme. Vous avez dit qu'elle était chef d'unité. Mais about vous avez her, également uh, indiqué role. que vous ne connaissiez pas ses fonctions. Quelles étaient les fonctions des militiens des coopératives Quelles étaient les fonctions des militiens des coopératives des communes ou des Did villages you know où vous avez vécu, connaissiez-vous leurs attributions and, uh, Réponse. As, uh, my wife, as I said, was, Comme je l'ai dit, uh, chief of the 17 April, uh, ma femme unit, était chef d'une unité itinérante de 17 avril. Nous vivions ensemble, donc je l'ai su. Dans le village, nous avons appris que telle personne était chef de telle ou telle coopérative. Quant à Son, il est venu à la carrière où je travaillais et c'est ainsi que j'ai appris qu'il occupait un poste de direction. Lui-même ne m'a jamais dit être But chef d'unité. Mais d'après mes observations, j'ai conclu que tel était le cas, puisqu'il donnait des ordres à ses subordonnés. Question. My question is question. in relation to the role of the militiamen. Qu'en est-il des fonctions des militiens Qui les supervise Answer. I did not know Réponse. who supervised them. They only referred to them pas. as the village militia or On the les appelait seulement militia. Militiens de so village if they de were in the, uh, if they were the village militia men, they would be under the authority si of the uh, village. Si militiens du village, Likewise, ils étaient rattachés au village. Même level, chose pour la commune. They would be under the supervision of the uh, commune. And as for Son, I said Quant à Son, was, uh, comme je l'ai dit, chief, but il était chef d'unité, mais je ne savais pas exactement quelles étaient ses fonctions. Question, uh, Mr. President, I'd like Question. to read an excerpt je vais lire from document un extrait du document E3-5729 et KMAIN-0027. 0027-9735 en anglais, 0027-9737-9737-18-19 0087-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9737-9
question. Question. How did you know that uh, members of the militia Comment avez-vous su que les miliciens avaient 12 ou 13 ans Answer. Although they Réponse. did not tell me that they were 12 or 13 years old from their physical appearance, I could say that they were about that age. Because when they were carrying rifles, they were carrying rifles. 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 Question: Did you know them Question. before? Les aviez-vous connus avant? Answer: I Réponse. did not know them clearly. However, Pas probably bien. they knew me very clearly. That's Mais why eux, they came ils to devaient bien connaître. Uh, monitor Raison us pour laquelle at, uh, ils sont venus house. nous surveiller chez nous. During the daytime, they were uh, normal, and at night time, journée, maybe they came under people's house to uh, monitor the activities. Ils se comportaient normalement. Pendant la nuit, ils venaient contrôler les gens sous leur Question. maison. Earlier, you testified Question. that after the marriage, you stayed overnight and then you uh, Vous dites turned, qu'après le mariage, for ten days. vous avez passé la nuit sur so place, ensuite chamber, vous êtes allé travailler, vous êtes rentré au travail you, uh, pour y passer dix jours. À quelle fréquence avez-vous été contrôlé Réponse. On the issue of a monitoring, I knew that I was under monitor. Je savais que j'étais sous surveillance. As I said, when we were sleeping together, they crawled under the house and from the gaps. Ils rampaient sous la maison et par les interstices du plancher. J'ai pu voir qu'il y avait des gens en dessous. Question. Question. I'd like to ask you about the uh, wedding ceremony of yours. Venons en you à la cérémonie de votre mariage. Vous en avez déjà abondamment parlé. You made mention of the participation of the commune chief and the village chief. You have mentioned the participation of the commune and the chief of the village. Can you tell the chamber? And before that, please allow me to give you a quote. From your statement that is E3 slash four six zero nine four six zero nine. Question answer fifty three. Question réponse cinquante trois. You said that there were no presence of the village and commune chiefs. Que qu'aucun chef de village ou commune n'était présent. Yesterday, Or, at 15 hier, hours 44 à 15h44, minutes, you testified that vous avez I saw déclaré the uh, district and the commune committees and the chief le of youth, de district de commune et le but chef uh, that you did not know their names. Mais vous dites aussi que vous ne connaissiez pas leur nom. Can you tell the chamber which version is correct? Quelle est la bonne version? Jam lai day jam chlai pe arip ka nung mien ki lang day yen nung. Réponse. During the wedding ceremony, there were people who were at the podium who gave speeches about their uncle that we had to 
have our credit to the board Anka, and then we had to fulfill the requirement of Anka to uh, produce more uh, population. And then I did not know who were the district committees or who were the uh, commune committee. And that's what I said. However, I only knew that they were the committee members or the committee representative of this uh, commune or this district. And indeed, they were present during the ceremony. You said that people say that uh, they were the district committee, and for that reason, you knew ah, that uh, they were the district committee. Who told you about that? Que vous Mais qui vous dit? La and uh, when the person came to, uh, to make the speech about Anka, that uh, Anka deferred us to get married and that we have to pay credit to, to Anka uh, to bear children in order to increase the uh, amount of the population. And the person who made the speech represents uh, now made an announcement about himself whether he was from the district from the commune. Pour dire si il était de la commune. Question, then allow me to uh, my uh, question. That's why in your first statement you said that uh, question, the alors, commune or the district committee were not present. And later on you might mention that they were present. Can you tell the chamber the discrepancy in your statement? expliquer cette divergence? Entre les déclarations. And so, uh, I said uh, the letter is the uh, correct one. C'est la deuxième version qui est la bonne. Because when they uh, made a speech, they introduced themselves. Discours, ils se sont And as, uh, previously, the statement I made was not uh, proper because uh, later on, when they introduced themselves, for example, they were representative uh, of the district youth, then I uh, recall that. Par exemple, des jeunes du district. And if you think uh, my statement is not correct, of course, there is a your understanding, but I stand by my uh, later version. President, uh, thank you, Council. It is now convenient time for our lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. And Madame Civil Party, it is now uh, time for lunch break. You may rest and please return to uh, the courtroom at 1.30. Yeah. Can I just ask Juste a very short question, organization? Are there more questions from the Kyosan Pang team? De questions à poser pour la, de défense de Kyosan Not sure if it, yeah, are there more? Yeah. Yes, but you, you. yes uh, we have some more questions. Réponse, oui. Security personnel, you are starting to take you some phone to the waiting room downstairs and having returned to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.